Okay, guys. So now we have more than one uh, perceptron in the same network. Now let's see how exactly this particular thing will work. Uh, one thing which should be apparent is that we will have two y values or basically two values for y. It could be entire uh, set of things because face it like you can have uh, tons of uh, outputs as well. Okay. And that like it has a different sense. For example, let's take one of the most uh, commonly used uh, handwritten uh, text recognition. Okay. So let's say I have numbers between one to 10. Okay, so I have written between 0, 1, 2, 3, and 9. So what that particular thing will do is that, let's say I have a lot of inputs and I have, let's say, a lot of perceptrons, all the connection, everything is done. And then I have 10 total outputs here. Okay, so if I use the same sigmoid function, it will basically tell me what is the probability of uh, this particular, let's say one will tell me the probability of being 0, that is 0 0.01 of being one that is point uh, zero like point uh, two uh, of being uh, three it is point zero zero of being four it is point nine one of point uh, being like point eight of uh, being let's say nine okay so each of these outputs they're all outputs like there will be 10 different outputs but each of them have a different interpretation okay and we will also like a single function is never enough do you think like this entire function if i have to make and let's say all the values in are of one class and this is my decision boundary this white line and this is uh, other set of points do you think like one a single perceptron can actually make this entire thing go like make this kind of a boundary no you will need a lot more perceptrons so that is uh, basically why we need more perceptrons so that we can uh, our model is capable of designing more complex logics Okay, that is basically it. We need more perceptron because we want our model to be able to build more complex models so that it can do more, uh, it can basically model things in a better way. Okay, so being said that, uh, the concept will still remain the same. Okay, for zi, instead of z, I will say zi, the sum will still be w0i uh, and uh, plus because zero i because there will be two different uh, this thing it will be uh, zero comma one and this will be uh, w zero comma two okay so this particular thing will vary plus submission of j equals to one to m because all of the input will go to all of the uh, individual summation functions here i will have x j that is that because here i have w uh, W11, W21, W31, W12, W22, W32. So I will have XJ and WJI. Okay. So for the first one, I would have Z1 equals to W0. This particular thing is my bias plus summation of uh, J123, uh, XJWJ1. Okay. So this will uh, only change like 112131 will change for X1, X2, X3. And this will be the sum for this. So just because they are combined, this particular summation, let's say, this particular node, okay, all of these terms are actually called node. So this particular node will not know the presence of the other node because it doesn't have to do anything with that. So all of the inputs, even if this one was not there, if you hide this particular element, this one will still be the same. So uh, both of them are learning something and they are sort of independent of each other if you see after the summation which i get i will take i'll get z1 and z2 i'll get two of those z1 will be feeded to g to get y1 and z2 will be feeded to g to get y2 okay the g will still remain the same because that is my uh, function so it's a sigmoidal or a uh, relu function and that doesn't change that will still be the same but my z2 and z1 change based on which my w uh, y1 and y2 outputs may change okay so this is basically the sense there's one more term which i wanted to introduce here and that is called as dense okay dense uh, a dense network is basically where all the input variables are connected to all the middle lens okay so all the possible connections are made if this sort of scenario or this sort of scenario actually comes we call it as a dense function 
the reason why i need to tell you that particular thing is that there is a like when you will do coding we'll do the coding at the end of the course but uh what we will actually use is something like this import tensorflow okay the library which we use has tf okay and then you don't have to program everything from scratch to generate this particular layer okay all you have to do is uh, tensorflow dot keras dot now you have to tell in layers i want to have a dense okay a dense uh, network with unit equals to 2 okay so with two of these i want to have a dense network you will give the uh, number of inputs as well uh, but this is basically the structure and i wanted to know uh, you to know that this dense basically means that make all the connections possible okay now this particular thing will just create a simple plain network it will just create like this it doesn't know what values each of these have that we will have to fill but this will basically this code will basically may make, make the corpus now you don't need to uh, note any of these codes okay that is one good thing as well when you study data structure algorithm you might have to remember some of the codes in neural networks machine learning nobody expect to remember anything because it is pointless whenever you will go out to code you will have enough resources and it is not your coding of remembering these functions and all of those things that will matter so don't worry about this i have just told this particular thing because you might get confused why i'm using this dense layer is basically this is a layer uh, keras and uh, tensorflow are basically libraries and dense is basically representing that i want all the connections okay so this is uh, basically how your multi output perceptron works this is still a perceptron now we have only increased this in this direction but uh, we can have more than one layers so in the next video we will see how we can have different layers in neural networks that will make it even more complex <laughs>